new journal and guide. Subscribe today. And now we have Congressman uh, Bobby Scott, who, is, who uh, began his serving his 10th term as a member of Congress on January 5th, 2011. Um, uh, Congressman Scott uh, has been uh, in Congress for 18 years and, and has been known as a champion of the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights, fighting to protect the rights and civil liberties of all Americans. Uh, as a former member of the House Budget uh, Committee, Representative Scott has developed a reputation as a deficit hawk, so he'll be very helpful in our conversation today. He was an ardent opponent of the 2001 and 2003 uh, tax cuts that were skewed towards the wealthiest Americans and created huge deficits. And perhaps that's a good place to kick off uh, our conversation this afternoon. But before we do that, we certainly want to have an opening comment from Congressman Scott. We're certainly pleased to have you with us. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, and, and it's a pleasure to work with you. We worked with you in Richmond and Chesapeake and now with uh, Hampton Roads Transit. So it's a pleasure to uh, work with you on this panel. I want to introduce uh, Demont Demontre Boone, who is um, a staff person in, in, in my Newport News office. And he's got copies of um, uh, pass out so we're passing out. If you haven't gotten one, just raise your hand and he'll get you um, uh, some of the copies. It's a pleasure to be with uh, uh, Merrick. Uh, I don't, I'm just meeting Merrick, but Bob, Bob served as city manager in, uh, in Richmond uh, when I was in the uh, House of Delegates, so um, it's a pleasure to see him represented. Uh, John Marks, uh, Mayor of Tallahassee, it's a delight to be on a panel with him so that people will know that there are actually two of us, it's <laughs> 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 not just one. Um, and also a pleasure to be with uh, Scott Mitchell, who has uh, just been elected to Congress, and uh, as he mentioned, we've been working together. I just co-sponsored a bill yes. introduced to help on uh, the problems of military uh, housing. Uh, so we've been working together on, uh, on, on many issues. Uh, the fact of the matter is, on the, on the budget, we have unsustainable deficits, but we're not broke, we're not Greece, we can fix this, we just have to make uh, tough choices. I was elected in 1992 and 93, came into Congress, and we addressed the budget uh, seriously. We passed a tough budget, which resulted over eight years in not only balancing the budget, but going into a surplus sufficient, if we, ever, if we didn't mess up the budget, sufficient to have paid off the entire national debt held by the public by 2008. We owe zero to China, zero to Japan, zero to Saudi Arabia. Uh, all of our um, outside debts would be, uh, would be paid. Uh, there was tough votes. Uh, Democrats lost about 50 seats in the ensuing election. Um, after, the, um, uh, after the Republicans took over in 1995, uh, they came in and tried to dismantle the budget. And as you'll remember, uh, President Clinton let the government get shut down rather than sign those budgets. If you wanted to know what would have happened uh, when the Republicans took over the House, Senate, and White House in 2001, uh, they came in, in fact, dismantled it. Uh, and they really dismantled it. You have to figure out where we were in 2001. At the beginning of 2001, like I said, we had a sufficient uh, budget uh, surplus to pay off the debt held by the public. Greenspan was answering questions like, "What's gonna are we paying off the debt too quickly? What's going to happen if we don't have any government bonds? I mean, those are the questions he had to answer. First tax cut was the last time you heard that discussion. Uh, we passed uh, tax cuts that we couldn't afford, two wars that weren't paid for, prescription drug benefit uh, that wasn't paid for, and immediately we found ourselves deep in the ditch. This production has been brought to you by Image Entertainment.